Well, hey, good morning, everyone. God bless you. This is Pastor Carlos Rivera, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, or TGIF, like we say around here, thank God I'm free. Oh, are you glad you're free today? If you are, man, drop that in the chat. Thank God I'm free. <laughs> amen, amen. Well, it's been a great week so far. Uh, you know, as you know, I've been traveling, so these uh, programs have been recorded. But I hope you've been blessed by God's word. I know the times of prayer have been amazing. God is doing so much right now in all of our lives, including myself. I've had such an amazing opportunity to travel right now and just minister. And it's just been powerful and been very, very powerful. So I thank God for what he's doing in my life. And I thank God for what he's doing in your life as well, because you see, your faithfulness pays off. That's right. Whenever you do what God has called you to do and you're being obedient in it, always know that God's going to bless you. He's going to reward you for your faithfulness as well. Amen. So as people are coming on right now, joining us for this amazing gathering here on this Friday, then I just pray that you'll be blessed, that we, that God's word will minister to our hearts, right? And because uh, God's word always does. The Holy Spirit always wants to meet with us and the Holy Spirit always wants to speak to us. That's right. God is a God of conversation. God always wants to converse with you and I. There's something about fellowshipping with him, and he just longs to fellowship with us as well. I mean, he, he, he loved us so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross because he wants to continue to converse and fellowship with us. And he couldn't stand the thought of you and I not being with him for eternity. So you see, God loves you and loves me so much, and he wants always, he loves to have conversations with us as well. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, listen, I know some folks are still jumping in. Praise God for them. God bless you guys. But I want to go ahead and get started this morning. And I've entitled our gathering here in Walking in the Spirit, Remember the Poor. Remember the Poor. Pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you this morning, oh God. And we thank you, Father God, for your faithfulness, for your word. Uh, Holy Spirit, speak to us clearly this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Remember the poor. Look what Psalms 41, verses 1 through 3 says. All the joys of those who are kind to the poor. The Lord rescues them when they are in trouble. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. He gives them prosperity in the land and rescues them from their enemies. The Lord nurses them when they are sick and restores them to health. Wow, look at that. I'll tell you what, when I read this, it just about jumped off the pages at me because God is kind. Listen to what it said here, to those who are kind to the poor. See, God blesses those that reach out and help the poor. You know, no one has ever become poor by giving. Oh, I'll drop that in the chat right now. No one has ever become poor by giving. See, thousands of homeless destitute and impoverished, you know, are everywhere. They are everywhere. See, and we need to get involved. That's why I love our Friday night outreach that goes out on Midlothian and reaches out to those out there uh, with, with food and, and, of course, prayer. See, we need to plant our best seed, see, in a church or an organization that's, that's, that has a worthy uh, commitment to the poor. That's why I love my church. I just do. I love it because we have so many kind-hearted people that always want to give somebody a hand up. That's right. Always want to just find someone and try to help them. And, and I've seen so many marvelous stories. There was a young man that came to our church about six months ago. And uh, he was literally homeless, living in his car. And, uh, you know, he came to, the, we met him. And he, he, we, we met him, right, and finds out that somebody we know knew him. Long story short, he kept coming to the church. God blessed him with a great job. Now he's got himself an apartment. And literally, God turned everything around. And he did it because I know that many folks reached out to help him and to pray for him and bless him. And now he's part of a security team. Man, I'll tell you what, God is so 
very good. You see, when you help the poor, when you reach those that are marginalized or maybe even just have gone through a bad season financially, listen, your own prosperity will be affected by it. That's right. According to God's word, God word will God will bless you for blessing others, especially those that are in need. See, so drop this in the chat right now. Your reaction to the poor determines God's reaction to you. Mm, come on now. Drop that in the chat. That's a drop mic one, drop mic moment right there. Your reaction to the poor determines, determines God's reaction to you. So that's see, we've been talking about wisdom this whole week, and it's wise that those that 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 save souls, that reach souls, are wise, and and of course we need to work wisely as well. We need to manage our time and our talents, our treasures. We need to manage our resources well, and we need to work wisely. Drop that in the chat right now. Work wisely. Ecclesiastes chapter ten verse ten says this: Using a dull axe requires great strength. So sharpen the blade. That's the value of wisdom. It helps you succeed. Oh, come on, somebody. That's right. A sharper axe, being sharp, having wisdom to maybe stop and sharpen your axe, not just try to get the whole job done with that same dull blade, but to go back and sharpen it so you can go ahead and be more effective every time you swing. See, drop this in the chat right now. My goal is not to be better than someone else, but to be better than I used to be. Oh, come on, somebody. Man, drop that in the chat. My goal is not to be better than someone else. My goal is to be better than I used to be. See, when an axe is not as sharp as it should be, it becomes unsuitable for the task. See, it requires so much more time and so much more effort when it's dull to get the desired result. See, wisdom will help you realize that though you may lose a little time sharpening the blade, your time chopping down the tree will be drastically reduced. Oh, come on, somebody. Listen, I believe it's powerful to use wisdom. See, wisdom helps you forget your mistakes and remember the lessons. Oh, come on, somebody. Wisdom takes the, the things that we've done wrong, the mistakes that we've made, and it turns them into learning opportunities, growing opportunities. And see, and I believe that when you do that, when you begin to take the mistakes and the, learn from them, then, the, then, of course, you won't repeat those again, right? Because you've learned your lesson. I believe you can learn from, from experience, but you can learn so much from the Bible, from reading God's Word. Drop that in the chat. Learn the Bible, Learn the Bible. Psalms one nineteen eleven says, "I have hidden your heart, in, uh, hidden your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you." Hmm, that is so powerful. See, when when you when given a choice, our human nature tends to gravitate to the flesh, resulting in doing the wrong, bad decisions. Come on, somebody, making bad decisions, and of course, poor conduct. At the end of the day, we need to have God's word hidden in our hearts. See, rebelling against the Lord would be certain if it wasn't for God's word and the Holy Spirit in our lives. Because this flesh is always trying to rise up. This flesh is always trying to oppose what God wants in your life and in my life. See, that's why it's so important. Why is it so important to hide God's word in your heart? Let's drop this in the chat. Wherever your heart goes, your life will go along. <laughs> Wherever your heart goes, your life will go along. So we need to understand that if we uh, if we uh, take God's word and we hide it in our hearts, in other words, memorize it. That's really what it's, it's about, memorizing God's word so that when you need that word of encouragement, when you need to pull out your sword, you have what it takes. You have that word that you can bring up and, get, and encourage yourself Build yourself up. And of course, faith comes by hearing God's word. You can speak it out. Just begin to speak and declare God's promises. Then faith will arise. All doubt has to leave. And you'll see yourself walking in victory. But it really does take learning the Bible and memorizing the scriptures. Amen. And really having those scriptures available to you the moment you need them. Because the Holy Spirit will bring them back to remembrance. Oh, come on, somebody. Listen, God's word is so good. 
And I'm so glad you joined me for God's word. Listen, if you are blessed by the Bible study, just hit the share button, man. Let's, let's, let's become that Facebook evangelist that blesses all the other people on your Facebook page as well. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you and we praise you today because you are such a good God. And in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord God, that we can surrender our wills to you. Let not my will, but your will be done today, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you for providing for every need, for giving us our daily bread, for everything that we need is in your hands and your hands are always extended towards us. So Father, I thank you right now and I pray that you will forgive me of my sin, that you'll cleanse me of all unrighteousness, that every day I can walk, Lord God, holy unto you, Lord Father, and help us to forgive others as well, my God, that we can forgive others and, and not carry resentment or bitterness, but also just release them in your hands, that you will bless them, Father God, no matter what they've done to us, just bless them. And Father God, just continue to release them from our hearts in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you for surrounding us with your angels, protecting us and guarding us, my God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you, Father God, that we can reach out to those, that, to the poor. You said the poor will always be with us. So Lord, I pray you'll give us the desire to make a difference, to spend time uh, with the Hope Van or spend time just going out and blessing someone who needs help, oh God, in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you for my brothers and sisters, Lord God, for blessing them. And we thank you that we can work wisely today, that we can use wisdom and be able to download things into other people's lives as well as we work hard, Lord God, and we're a blessing not only to our families, but to those around us as well. And Father God, I thank you that you've given us the mind and the heart to memorize your word, to memorize scripture, Lord God, to hide your word in our hearts that we will not sin against you, my God. So Lord, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord God, for opening up our mind and our understanding to retain and to memorize your word. <clears throat> and Father, I thank you right now for salvation, for those that need a touch from you right now. We also pray for those on our prayer list right now in Jesus' name, <clears throat> that you will save them right now. Draw them to the cross right now in Jesus' name. We thank you for their salvation. I pray for those that need divine healing right now in the name of Jesus. Touch them, Lord, that they will come, Lord God, to that place of surrender and that your healing power will be loosened upon them in the name of Jesus, oh God, you sent your word and it healed every disease and every sickness. So go out now in Jesus' name and touch them, Lord God. And we thank you for your healing in Jesus' name. And Father God, I thank you for breaking chains of bondages this morning. Oh God, well, I just thank you, Lord God. And I praise you for breaking every chain in people's lives that they will walk free and worthy of your calling. In the name of Jesus, restore uh, relationships, Lord God. Heal marriages right now, God. In Jesus' name, Lord God, that they may walk in harmony, that they may be a reflection of you and the church, Lord God, and, and walk in love and grace and mercy toward one another. And Father God, thank you for miracles right now. Loose your miracle working power right now in Jesus' name, oh God, that many that are on this program now, as they're listening, that miracles are being manifested, Father God, that the impossible is becoming possible right now in Jesus' name, that you'll make a way where there is no way. So I thank you, Father God, for divine wisdom and divine doors that are opening all around us, divine connections and friendships and people who will elevate us, oh God, in Jesus' name. Holy name, oh God. And Lord, I thank you even now for your supernatural favor, my God, for doors that are opening and opportunities and favor and that let your goodness and mercy follow us wherever we go, my God, and, and guide us and lead us to the place of our destinations, of our destiny, of our dreams. Help us, oh God, in Jesus' name to fulfill every dream and every promise you've given us, oh God. Help us to reach every goal, oh God, and attain every assignment you've given us, oh God, that we will continue to do your will in Jesus' name. And Father, we're going to make sure, my God, that you get all the glory, that you get all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Put your hands together right now. Give the Lord a good praise this morning. 
Wow, I tell you what, what a great way to end the week. You guys have been amazing. I pray that God has blessed you in such a great and mighty uh, way this whole week. They're just walking under an open heaven right now. Amen. And you know, I close every gathering with a scripture. And today's scripture is found in Psalms 118 verse 8 where it says, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Mm, come on, somebody. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to take than to trust in man. See, it's so important for us to understand that the Bible never says to trust people. It says to trust God and love people. So let's love them. And listen, they they may hurt us sometimes. They may burn us, right? But you know, we just love them like Jesus uh, does. And and if and if they want to burn bridges, they can burn them. But that doesn't mean we don't love them. Doesn't mean maybe it means we can't trust them and we can't be with them. But that, you know what? Praise God. I'm sure that God has a plan for their lives as well. So let's just continue to pray, continue to trust God, and make sure that we love others, but trust the Lord. Amen? Amen. Well, listen, have a marvelous, marvelous weekend. Oh, amen. I hope you and your family enjoy this weekend. Have a blessed one for sure. And, uh, and just know that God is with you everywhere you go. Amen. Well, listen, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord shine his face upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, listen, have a wonderful day. Again, Lord willing, I'll see you again Monday morning right here at 7 a.m. with Walking in the Spirit. My name is Pastor Carlos Rivera with New Life Outreach International Church. Have a wonderful, marvelous weekend. And remember, when you're walking in the spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Amen. God bless you and have a marvelous, marvelous rest of the day.